Hello everyone, my name is William. I am the CTO and co-founder of uh, Nor AI. I started my Japanese journey about three years ago, and after two years I was quite fluent in both reading and listening, but I still could like barely speak. So <laughs> eventually I did contact a Japanese tutor and we started practicing. And over time that actually went quite well. But as you know, the only problem with a real tutor is that it's like really expensive. Uh, you also have to schedule it every week and even if you come home stressed from a long day at work you still sort of have to do it also like emotionally you know especially when you're starting out uh, maybe you don't feel very confident in your skills and you sort of have to sit there and talk to this person so towards the end of last year i got really excited because i saw a lot of uh, sort of ai platforms popping up to practice your conversation skills but i was really really disappointed very fast when i actually tried the products um, a lot of false promises uh, inside the app versus what they said outside um, also quite poor performance UI and UX wasn't there and um, yeah so I just put together my own team basically because to build like a really really good conversational tutor for Japanese that has so many of its quirks and its different languages and alphabets you kind of want you know this toolbox this Japanese toolbox to really do it really really well so uh, without further ado let's jump into it and I will show how it looks inside so this is the main screen that you are going to be presented with when you enter Nora for the first time. And since Nora is built to be like a real tutor, but with all the tools and whistles that you really, really need to supercharge your Japanese learning, the free talk mode is going to be the main mode. But we have also included quite a few role plays and topics if you're feeling a bit low on inspiration, even though you could initiate any role play or topic for instance uh, in the conversation mode so without further ado let's uh, give it a spin konnichiwa what do you want to talk about today konshu matsunitsu ute hanashitai desu mochiron Konshumatsu,何をする予定ですか?何か楽しみなことがありますか?ryoshinga,restaurantに。Sorry, uh, I forgot how to say uh, I'm going to see my parents this weekend. Can you explain a bit about that? もちろんです。あなたが言いたいのは。今週末、両親に会う予定です。ですね。両親 means parents. 会う means to meet or to see. 予定です indicates a plan or schedule. So the complete sentence is 今週末、両親に会う予定です。もしレストランに行くことも言いたいのであれば、次のように言えます。今週末、両親に会って、レストランに行く予定です。どうですか? 理解できましたか? So as you can see, I made a little bit of a mistake there on purpose and showcased a bit how I can switch between English and uh, Japanese. And as you notice, currently I'm in the so-called manual bilingual mode, which is um, where you can switch manually between Japanese and English using a button or a hotkey. Uh, this optimizes for perfect recognition in both English and Japanese. But we have also what's called automatic bilingual, which is a little bit more experimental and a bit less accurate on the recognition side, but the, the pro is that you don't have to manually press a hotkey to switch between English and Japanese. But uh, I would recommend starting with manual bilingual, and uh, if you're feeling a bit uh, adventurous, so to speak, you can give automatic bilingual um, a try, but that is a still work in progress to make it really optimal, but it's a tough AI problem. Then we also have monolingual, which is recommended for more advanced speakers or intermediate learners, where uh, Nora will exclusively talk to you in uh, Japanese and you will exclusively talk to Nora in uh, Japanese as well. So uh, this is my favorite mode. And um, so for anyone that is feeling that they don't really need that much English, I would really recommend giving that a go. And of course you can switch whenever. Uh, you also have some other yeah, Japanese um, settings, so to speak. If you want to practice, for example, the formal mode with desumasu um, and so on, or if you want to speak more casual, as you would do with a friend, for instance, 
We also have um, the correction mode, which you can either select to have it on strict mode, where Nora will correct yeah, pretty much everything that you say wrong within reason, so to speak. But we also have the, the flow mode, uh, which is a little bit more that, uh, yeah, less corrections and focus more on the conversation flow. And lastly, we have so you can select the voice of Nora if you want a female or a male speaker, and you can also adjust the, um, the talking speed. So, um, yeah, let's just save this for now. And as you can see there, as I toggle the monolingual mode, the, the button to select between uh, English and Japanese disappeared. Moreover, we also have a toggle for furigana mode. So you can see the Japanese readings above the kanji. We also have a uh, toggle for the romaji mode. So you can see the Roman characters, it's perfect for beginners. We also have a built-in dictionary. So you um, really easily and quickly can check the readings, so pronunciation or other, other information about the word. Uh, so this is great and uh, way more complex than a regular Google Translate translation. Uh, moreover, you also have, uh, for example, help me I'm stuck button, which is uh, great if you want to, um, yeah. Yeah, you're stuck basically, you want some idea and you can play the audio here, for instance. But sometimes you might not want to know like exactly what you're gonna say. Then you also have the get inspiration tab where you can get like suggestions in uh, English uh, like about stuff to talk about. And this is a feature that I use a lot. <laughs> sometimes I just run out of like what to talk about <laughs> rather than I don't know how to say it. And you can also uh, input uh, here in uh, with just a regular text field as well, if you're not able to talk or you want to paste something in or whatever it might be. Yes, so I think that's the most important feature here on uh, the main screen. We also have a little bit of a progress gamification uh, tab that is in progress. So here you can see, for example, your streak, you can see a little bit of a heat map of your activity. And you can also see your progress graph. Right now it's on like daily, but if I do it on weekly, for example, you can see like a graph uh, of your cumulative words over time graph, so you can actually see your progress. Um, so this is really cool and it's something we're working on to extend. Yeah, so I think that is it. I hope to see you in the app um, soon. Bye bye.